is Coogan Cassius for IFROM London. We are at the Roxy for the Premier of Who Needs Enemies. With me, I've got the DOP, Andre Govia. Hello. The director, Peter Stiliano. Hello. And the producer, Nick Stiliano. Hello. How are you doing, guys? Um, good to interview for, for the first time. Um, tell us a little bit about this film. Where did the idea come from, Peter? Uh, it started off as a short film idea called The Dead Man. Um, it was cooked up between me and Tony Currier, the producer, in, in my living room. We just wanted a short story, really, and it turned out the story was so good, we wanted to make a feature from it. So I kind of wrote an entire feature around that 10 minute short film. That turned out to be this. I mean, it's just a great film. So, yeah, that's, that's how it originated. That's Nick, uh, how difficult for a low budget film, how difficult was it to put the cast together and locations, etc., etc., on your behalf? How difficult was that? Well, obviously, it's always got its challenges, but I think what we love about this film and what we're really proud of is. You know, it just shows we're the content of a good story and a quality cast and great acting. Um, it just shows that you don't need, you know, you don't need the crown jewels to make a really good film. And I think collectively, the, the cast and the crew all really believed in what we were doing. The collective vibe was amazing. Um, and to be honest, that's really what's, what's hopefully going to come through here tonight. So, Andre, you were the DOP on the film. How did you find that, sir? Um, well, the crown jewels really were obviously the talent and talent um, at, at no price really. The locations were great and the way it was put together and directed and produced really stuck it all together as a really good feature as far as I'm, I can see. Peter, what is the reason for people that will go and buy this film? What's, what's the biggest selling point of this film in your, in your opinion? Like obviously, you know, the gangster genre has been done to death. Um, I just, you know, it's not one of those films. It, it, it actually veers away from the, the typical Brit style gangster. Um, it's actually an intelligent gangster film. Um, it's as if if you was to see a true story and hear about a true story in gangland suburbs in London, you would probably see that it would turn out to be something like this film. Um, so it's more reality based drama, um, cutting edge gangster film. But it's, it's, it's ultimately it's a story of you know good versus evil and. You know, we wanted to portray evil in a very everyday, tangible kind of fashion. And so many people portray evil as mad slashers and people piecing people together. It's not really like that. Evil is something that happens every day. And, you know, and this is a film that concentrates on a group of people where they're confronted with an evil situation. And ultimately, you know, the old story of, you know, good versus bad, you know, is, is told. And hopefully that's what makes for a, a great film. And obviously his hat, his hat is the reason you've got to come and see this film. I'm pretty sure that the good versus bad scenario in this film was actually quite prominent. It's actually quite a serious subject, but at the same time it was carried off in a, in a tasteful way, without anyone being hurt, <laughs> we hope. All right, well, listen, guys, the film's about to start now, so thank you very much for talking to us, and we'll look forward to seeing what the film's like. Thank you very much. <laughs>